Our closest forward base, Midway, is five to 6,000 kilometers from the area of operations. Therefore, we must be considerate with our tactics and overall strategy. During planning, consider the vast distance of ch and travel time from here to the battlefield. Unlike us, Japan has supply hubs much closer to the front. Perhaps a fast task force should be initially assembled to stem the tide until our slower ships arrive with troops and supplies. Contingency plans are being drafted to defend the United States if we botch our initial deployment and engagements and allow the Japanese an even greater strategic lead. An important factor is truck, Japan's own Pearl Harbor, where a sizable naval force is headquartered and operates out of. Intelligence indicates a strong garrison supported by vast infrastructure and extensive supply reserves. Hello, North Vegan here, back with another new series. This is the War on the Sea, the Pacific mod we are playing as the Allies. It is the 25th of February, 1942. We start with 350 command points. Our objectives are as follows. We need to hold Okinawa, Iwo Jima, Saipan, Guam, Palau, Manila, Cebu, Del Monte, Davao, and many, 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 many others. <laughs> <laughs> In the same time, we must also maintain control of Port Moresby and Milne Bay. Of course, we have the logistics requirements that we also had in the Abdicom mod. And so we have to make sure we have fuel, supplies, and engineering for all of our ports and airfields. Uh, carrier planes can be refreshed only with... Uh, oh, it's been changed so that it can be refreshed with rearming, no release required. You won't be able to rearm if the location does not have enough resources. Okay, so that, that has changed. But it didn't really matter in Abdicom because we didn't really have any uh, carriers to speak of. <laughs> sea lanes are open at 200 ships sunk. In Abdicom, I believe it was 120 ships. Um, our home port is Midway. We start with 350. And uh, everything else is pretty much the same as it was in Abdicom. So... Let's take a look and see what we can see. So we have Midway Island here, uh, and then we have Port Moresby down here at the, the south, southern coast of New Guinea, and then we have Milne Bay uh, also on New Guinea, and then Horn Island also uh, south of New Guinea. We have a level one airfield on Horn Island, which has some Kitty Hawk P-40s, P-39 Air Cobras, and Beauforts and then on Port Moresby we have a level one airfield it is under siege uh, which is unfortunate we do have more supplies than troops here it has a level three port and one level one airfield it's got lightnings and Cobras and then Milne Bay has P-40s bow fighters and Beauforts so that's the situation their pen holds everything else everything else so we have to decide what we want to do uh, as our first mission. Tarawa has a level three airfield. If somehow we could take Tarawa, we could use that as a jumping off point. And the air support offered by this port would be critical to uh, our convoys coming from Midway Island. And we could just bring convoys from Midway Island to Tarawa and then have another logistical group moving them from Tarawa to our forward operating bases. Guadalcanal, the Santa Cruz Islands, and Shortland Islands are all also part of our targets. I think we'll start with Tarawa as our initial jumping off point for our forces. We do have 350 command points, so let's take a look at our... Uh, possible C units and see what we have available. They have increased the cost of submarines so that it, it is a, a little more, uh, it's, it's harder to use them uh, when they cost so much. So yeah, all of the submarines are now more expensive to uh, prohibit the snowballing effect of submarines. So they're now all uh, very, very expensive at 30 points or 27 points respectively for the better submarines. Uh, we do still have some Clemsons uh, for destroyer escorts. These guys are on, these Clemson and Wicks 
APDs are only three points. And I, I do appreciate the fact that it has their uh, carriage abilities here on the thumbnail as well, which is great. Lots of good choices for our destroyers as well. Uh, for our light cruisers, we have the good old classic Omaha. The Brooklyn class, one of my favorites. Atlanta class, another one of my favorites. Cleveland class, not quite available yet. And St. Louis, Pensacola is one of our heavy cruisers. Beautiful. Northampton, of course. Can't, can't forget the Northampton. Portland, New Orleans, Wichita, and Baltimore in 1943, and Alaska in 1944. Look at that baby. She is sleek, isn't she? For our battleships, the SBBs, we have uh, the Tennessee, which is not available till later in the year. The New Mexico, later in the year. Pennsylvania, later in the year. And the Colorado, 70 points for this big boy. North Carolina, 80 points. South Dakota, not till March. And Iowa, not till 1943. Iowa is a beautiful battleship. Montana, 1943. Illinois, 1944. Mm, Kearsage, perhaps. Look at this. Interesting. Is, is that like a little flight deck? What is that? Or is that just... can't tell what that is. Very interesting. Very interesting. It does have one hell, uh, 14 Hellcats. Interesting. All right, so then we do have the Yorktown class carrier along with the Enterprise and the Hornet, the Lexington, and the 1942 Lexington, which is the Saratoga. We have a, a Wasp and the Essex in 1942, and the Essex Longbow, Longbow, Longbow in 1944. And the Essex late in late 1944. We got a little boat class. I can't remember what the boat carries. Yeah, it's a little. That's not bad for a little escort carrier. But she's not available till later this year. I would love to have some bogues running uh, escort for us uh, when possible. Independence, uh, Casablanca, and then we get on to our cargo ships. So now the question is, what do we want to take? for our initial strike on Tarawa. It's a level three airfield. It probably has quite a few uh, troops and supplies there. So uh, we only have 7,500 troops and 15,000 supplies. I would love to load as much of that as possible onto a strike force and take Tarawa without, um, without having to uh, destroy the airfields so can we do that or should we go straight for wake island and do a do a little island hop like that like they did in in real life um regardless of what we decide to do there we're going to go ahead and get a couple of things we're going to get a nice uh set of cas here so we're going to get the northampton in here get two of those We'll get some CLs, and I will grab, I think I'll grab a Perth. It's not a bad little ship. Okay. And we will grab, along with her, a couple of destroyers as well. So let's get something that is good anti-aircraft and has some decent... Uh, anti-submarine which I think the Summers does have dual purpose guns no they do not oh go and grab two Summers and then we'll grab a couple of Bagley's this is gonna be our first task force um, and I want to put maybe something that's relatively quick in here to carry some troops and supplies as well as a landing force or should I just bring a couple more destroyers to bring more troops and whatnot? Let's take a look at our MS's and see what's available. That's really quick. Okay, well, we don't have anything really quick. <laughs> so, so instead, we're going to go ahead and throw in just a couple more DDs that can carry some, uh, carry some stuff that are also really fast. 
you see that? 40 knots on that thing? Farragut. Let's see here. Farragut's not bad. Let's grab two more Farragut's. Okay. So, 114 for our first task force. We're going to go ahead and pop them in. We're going to manage the cargo here. We're going to load in all the troops and supplies that I can. Of course, our cruiser can't carry anything. Let's uh, go troops, supplies, troops, supplies, 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 troops, and supplies. All right. First group is out. Maybe I will just go straight to, to Wake Island. We can get there in about a day. It has a level three airfield, so we have to be careful of their siding range. Um, and then make sure we get there at night. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do that there. I'm gonna send up from Midway some flying fortresses. Go up in groups of three. We'll take uh, 12 500 pound bombs. They can go 978 miles. So just do something like that. There we go. All right, I'm also gonna buy, I'm gonna go ahead and buy one sub to come out here. We will get the Gato class. And she has what? Uh, D24. 24 little little uh, torpedoes. I'm gonna go ahead and move her out and she's going to kind of patrol just around the area. I don't know if we'll find anything. I'm just gonna do a little something like that initially and then we'll start moving around around these islands. And you know what? No, screw that. Let's just head up to the uh, home islands and see if we can start picking off stuff as they come out of the home islands. So we'll just uh, come around here and do a little patrol there and see if we can get some uh, some targets. All right, it is now not time we can get to the uh, the base here and unload all cargo. Not within eight miles yet. Okay, that's okay. go there we go unload all cargo 600 troops and 600 supplies let's take a look and see what that does to wake island nothing nothing too uh impressive there so we'll bring alpha back and uh, see if we can pick up some more troops and supplies and hopefully get the heck out of here before they uh do more uh before they can launch a counter counter strike here all right they have now said it is daylight. Let's see if this guy can fly on down to Alpha. Provide some air cover because they will probably be coming back. <laughs> You're not going quite make it with the Wildcats. All right, so we'll uh, we'll go ahead and see what we can do here and take White Wake Island, hopefully, uh, in our initial strikes here. All right, we are back and we are going to pick up some more supplies and troops. So that's 450, that's 400, 500 supplies, okay, there we go, and we're coming back out again, coming back out again, Del Monte, heck, I don't even know where that was, I thought they made vegetables, alright, this is gonna, this is not gonna be uh, very good the current course that we're taking here so we're gonna go ahead and see if we can grab something else to assist in our uh, conquest of Wake Island so we're gonna go ahead and grab uh, a Macaulay class that's a lot of troops and quite a bit of supply but I'm thinking if I can get something with 2,000 supply that would be ideal okay well this guy can carry 1,200 supply He's got, uh, so we're going to need two of these, I guess. Okay, so that's uh, enough supply and troops to land a sizable force on there. I will go ahead and grab a couple more DDs for these guys as well. 
Let's grab some uh, E class. A couple of those. Swap them. There we go. Let's do circular with them. And we'll say done. Manager cargo. Go ahead and grab some troops and supply. There we go. Fantastic. All right, he's going to come down to Wake Island also. We're going to have to take a Wake Island. Already our troops are getting slammed down here, so we're going to have to really put the pressure on to Wake Island here. All right, we are ready to move on in to Wake Island for the, our second group. Here, come on down. All right, unload all your cargo. Bink. And we have more troops on the ground okay alpha come on back all right milne bay has got a uh, has detected something one bb three sbbs interesting all right so let's launch these kitty hawks with nada okay and let's come back to milne bay and we'll launch our bow forts with torpedoes all right we'll move them on up in here and the kitty hawks will protect them all right port moresby should we get the lightnings up with the uh, big bombs come on out also it is really difficult to see anything down here uh the bow forts have eyes on the prize let's move them on up I would love for the... well, too late. <laughs> I was going to say I'd love for the... Oh, jeez. That was loud. Okay. What do we got here? Kitty Hawks. I'm going to have to do uh, some intercept here. Beauforts. Hit the deck. Speed up. I want you to go around that way. Let's take a look and see what we got here. What do we got here? Well, we got a little, got a little <laughs> battleship. Is that the Issei? Let's take a look at the Japanese battleships. Oops. Let's take a look. I want to see that. Is that Issei? Mm. Maybe it's Fuso. Yeah, it's Fuso. Got that really tall superstructure. That that's hilarious. Is that the Congo? I think I would know the Congo by now. After our stint with Congos in the uh, yeah, it's Congo. Okay. So we got a Congo here. We got a, a, a Fuso. Got a cruiser here. Okay, another cruiser. Interesting. Lots of heavy hitters here, for sure. We're going to go for this bad boy here. See if we can uh, take her out. You guys just circle around, Kitty Hawks. Because uh, you're going to get, probably going to get some trouble here. From uh, enemy fighters. Okay, we're going to target number two. Probably going to lose these bow forts, but that's okay. We're going to put these guys in a, not a line ahead, a Vic. There we go. And we do have fighter support after all. Okay. Let's go after them. They're all peeling away. All right. Very good. Okay. Are we ready to begin our attack run? I believe we are. What are who are you attacking? Number two, three. Can you attack number one instead? There you go. All right. 
You guys begin your attack run. And we lost the Kitty Hawk already. Of course we did. Alright. First attack run of the match. Can we tighten these guys up? No, that's as tight as they go. It's as tight as they go. Oh boy. Lots of zeros around, so there must be a. Uh, well, there's plenty of land bases around to provide support. Oh, there goes one of the bow forts. She's down. Alright. Should I. How far are we? 1700 yards? Let's take a look at the weapons. Uh, didn't say the distance of the torpedo. Darn. Okay. So just let them drop on their own. Oh my god. Come on, baby. Put those fish in the water. Put those fish in the water. There they go. Fish are in the water. Break to the right, please. Break. Get out of there. Fish are in the sea. Zeroes on our tail. Two zeroes. Alright. Fish are looking good. Looking good. She's trying to turn to evade. Nice hit. Right amidships. Right underneath the superstructure. Beautiful. Nice. Minimal damage, however. Minimal damage. Yep, minor, minor. So, nothing to ride home about there, that's for sure. Only one Beaufort has survived, and they may not survive much longer. Nope, they're down. Okay, Kitty Hawks. You probably just need a skedaddle, Kitty Hawks. Probably just need a skedaddle. I could go ahead and retreat and let them live. Number two is she's not gonna she's not gonna gain any additional damage from those fires, so we'll just let these guys RTB. The lightnings will let them come on out as well. Uh, there we go. Okay. Oh darn, okay. Let's get these guys down here after the battleships. Ah, dirty dogs. Hey, dirty dogs. All right, could get the bow fighters up with uh, rockets or with torpedoes or with semi-armor piercing bombs. We'll go torpedoes and uh, see if we can get these guys out of here. But unfortunately, the lightnings are engaged. Oh, the bow fighters are on the map as well. Okay. And the ooh, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Climb up, baby. Climb up, baby. Both fighters are not gonna be able to make it. They're gonna despawn. Alright, yeah, they too far away. Okay. These guys are at ten thousand. We are going to go ahead and put them into line ahead. Form up line ahead. There we go. And we are going to make a run on these bad boys. All right, fantastic. See what these lightnings can do, level bombing. All right, we are coming up with the lightnings. Uso is turning. She's trying to make a uh, evasive maneuver turn there. So that's uh, pretty wise of her. We're gonna go ahead and swing out a little bit. And then we'll drop on the on the sky. Oh, we lost the lightning coming in for our bombing run. No. All right, let's uh, let's swing on in. All right, we're dropping. It's a sloppy drop, but we're getting out of here. Sloppy drop, but we're getting out of here. Let's see what happens.
these 500 pound bombs probably just tickle this Fuso, but we'll see. Okay, we got one hit in the superstructure. Not bad. Minor, minor still. Okay. Lightnings fly away. Lost all our bow fight. Well, our bow fighters just did despawn, so didn't really lose anything there. Okay. So let's uh, keep these guys around to protect the uh, bow fighters because uh, we still have them to do. Don't know where the. Oh, they're leaving. Okay. They've been 30 minutes yet. There they are. Okay. Let's come on down. And tactical. We're going to lose these bow fighters as well, I'm sure, but let's go ahead and get down on the deck. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. All right, we're going to slide right into the side and attack that Fuso once again. Oh, boy. Attack at a right angle. Alright. Ready, attack. There we go. We're coming in. You know, she's, she's turning. I think it'll be too late for her. We should be able to get these guys in and out and on with our lives. Oh, bow fighter down. All right, get out of there, boys. Get out of there. Get out of there, boys. Two more torpedoes coming in. I think I just lost another one. Yep. Right in the same spot the last one hit, unfortunately. Oh, nice bow hit. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. Bow fighter's on his way out. Lickety split. All right, we might take a look and see if how much damage this does here. He's up to moderate, moderate. Okay. All right, she got her repairs all in. She's still at moderate, moderate. However, so we've uh, we've put a little kick in her teeth a little bit, but uh, obviously. <laughs> Nothing, nothing too major. We've lost tons of airplanes already. Just trying to throw some heat her way. Uh, I'll go ahead and send one more flight out of these air cobras. See if we can maybe put another kick on her here. But up, oh, yeah, she couldn't even make it out there. All right, well, that that's too bad. All right, so Port Moresby. Do you have anything? Got a bow fighter. You could come in with one more torpedo to slide it. Man, this is really tough to to slide everything in here. All right, there we go. You slide right on in. See if you can. Uh, get one more torpedo onto the Fuso here. All right. I mean, there's no way I'm flying in to the back side of there. That's that's nuts. I'm going to try to fly in from the side again. Okay. Alrighty. Do they not see me or what? What's the deal? Let's go ahead and make her run. Hopefully we can make it. Oh. Oh. 2900, 2800. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. 1700. Let's drop. Let's get out of here. Get out of there. Don't fly right over that ship. Get out of there. 
Okay. Oh, that's a miss, too. Oh, darn. Okay. That's a miss. Of course, it could hit somebody else, but I doubt it. I doubt it. Yeah, that's a big fat miss. Okay. No, uh, no love there. All right. All right. Lightning's back out. <laughs> Lightnings are back out. Let's see if we can spot the Fuso down here somewhere. I don't know where she went. Oh, man. We're not going to find her. All right. Now it's time to go on into Wake Island with our big force. And Task Force Alpha also is going to get more troops and supplies. More troops and supplies. Mostly troops this time around, I think. Because I think we'll have a surplus of supplies in there. But I'll grab just a few more supplies. Just to make sure. And Lodgy Alpha is unloading all their cargo. Boom. Beautiful. Wake Island is going to be ours soon. Lodgy, get the heck out of there. Get the heck out of there. Uh-oh. Stay lot. Get out of there, Lodgy. Oh no, Lodgy's, Lodgy's under attack. Lodgy's under attack. Okay. Couldn't quite make it out in time. Alright, all units selected are using radar. Call the retreat. And I can leave already. Oh, there's no, is there no timer on this? Okay. Uh, that's cheap. That, that's cheating. I don't want to cheat that much. Lots of torpedo bombers. Ooh, lots and lots and lots of torpedo bombers. Holy cow. Alright, Macaulay. I need you to break hard right, please. They're coming in with their torpedoes. They got one down. Fish are in the water. Turn, 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 turn. Electra's gonna be alright. Macaulay is going to be alright as well. Good. Alright, are these dropping at him? Nah. They're like, he's fine. Electra, are you okay? He's alright. Good. Turn hard right. Macaulay. Turn hard right. Who are they going after? They're going after this guy. Turn hard right. As well. Alright. He's a little slower. Okay. Run straight, run straight. Why are you not shooting? I just don't hit a button there. All right, you turn, you turn, run straight. Okay. All right, turn left. Electra, run straight. Okay. okay we're good. Colleague. Just shot one down, that's good. Run straight. Turn right. Okay. Got another group coming in. Keep shooting, keep shooting, keep shooting. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right, all three of them down. Okay, fantastic. Got another group coming in. Two more groups coming in. Three more groups coming in. Okay. Keep, just keep spouting that uh, that fire out. You guys keep running. Keep running straight. Boom! A boom! I don't know why he keeps not firing? Oh, they're both, they're both firing. Okay, nice! 
Emily's. All right, turn left. Emily's are dropping. It's, it's gonna be bad. They're gonna get a hit. Oh! Macaulay was hit. Big hits. Big hits on Macaulay. That hurt. Heavy, heavy. That hurt. Slow down. All right. Macaulay is in bad shape. Okay. Turn hard left with you. Uh oh. Actually, turn hard right. These torpedoes. Fish are coming in. Oh my gosh, that's close. Woo! Scraping the paint, baby. Scraping the paint. Alright, you run straight. straight turn to the right turn to the right speed up okay 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 electro turn to the left a little bit don't want to run into those torpedoes there you go all right Whew. Well, I tell you, that's rough. Ugh, secondary explosion. All right, are we clear? Yep, we're clear of everything. Okay, I'm gonna work and get our uh, fires out on this thing here. And uh, what are you doing? Put the fires out, my friend. Okay, we'll, we'll work to put these fires out and uh, get these guys all straightened up and. Uh, And then we'll uh, call this episode quits. Uh, we're never going to get these fires out. I'm just going to go ahead and leave. They'll probably scuttle her. Yep, scuttled her. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. All right, guys. Go ahead and run on out the best you can. Yes. Okay, good. And we're going to go ahead and send up our Wildcats to protect Lodgy Alpha. We've got our first loss of the war. Wake Island is almost ours and uh, lost our first cargo ship. Hope you've enjoyed this first episode. If you did, be sure and hit that like button. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.